Put it back gently. When the whipper will whistles in the wind, the wind will whistle back. Oh, nice and chubby baby. Bad day, coffee. Good day, coffee. Lots of work to do, coffee. Bad credit, coffee. Dry skin, coffee. Coffee, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. My battery's getting ready to die. Ride your bikey park. Time to munch on. Oh. Weasels in the bushes. What's going on, friends? I'm on this busy road here in Hua Hin. It's a beautiful morning. The weather here is great. No humidity in the air, constant breeze. If I'm not mistaken, it's only about 73 or 75 degrees. It's only supposed to get up to about 82 or 83, I believe. I'm coming up on the 6,000 kilometer mark on my motorbike and it's time for a service. I was gonna go down the road to Honda Big Wing, but on the way there, I passed this Honda shop right here and I figured, you know what? I'll just go here because they sell scooters. If I go to Honda Big Wing, they sell big bikes and I don't know if they'll have whatever they need to perform the service on my motorbike. I typed it out in Translate and told her what I needed. She's like, yep, just pull your bike in here and they immediately started the service. This is the second service that I've had. You had to get a service at 1,000 kilometers and now this one at 6,000 kilometers. Both times, I've just walked in and they immediately put my bike in the shop. Apparently, the service is just an oil change. And as I'm running my mouth, they just pulled my bike out. Let's see how much this costs. So that service was 154 baht. That's four dollars and 39 cent at today's exchange rate. And I shit you not, I have not been here five minutes. I've been recording for five minutes and 12 seconds. So that should tell you how I've been here five minutes. All right, y'all, service is done. I'm gonna ride up the road about four minutes and see if I can get her cleaned up. Let's ride. All right, friends, y'all see that Ford dealership right across the street. To the right of the Ford dealership is a used car dealership. There's a soy in between them. And behind the used car dealership, there's a car wash. I went there to see if I can get my motorbike clean, but he said I'd be waiting for about an hour. I don't think Aaron is out of the bed yet. I still haven't got a text from him, so I'm just gonna grab some coffee, and read my book for a little while until he wakes his behind up. The owner of that cafe was just a little bit weird to me. I told her I could put her shop on YouTube and she's like, no, I don't want you to do that. So I thought maybe she didn't really understand what I was saying. So I showed her the video where I went to the coffee fest in Bangkok and how I listed all the vendors that I featured in the video in the description box so that people would be able to find them. I said, I can do the same thing with your shop. She's like, no, I don't want you to do that. I'm like, okay. I'll still link the location of the shop in the description box. She just didn't want to be on camera is what I think it was. Aaron just messaged me. He said he woke up. So I left that coffee shop and I came on down here to House of Croissants. I came down here yesterday, but I really wasn't in the mood for anything sweet. I was in the mood for actual food. But this morning I could use one more cup of coffee and maybe a croissant. So I came back over here. Nice little cafe, nice decor. They obviously make everything fresh right here in house. I'm gonna grab myself a croissant and a cup of coffee. Chill out for a minute. This croissant is like a typical Thai woman that you're waiting for to arrive at a date. Flaky as hell. Aaron made a good point and I was kind of thinking it myself, but when I went and had my service done on my bike, it only took them five minutes to do it. So they legit just drained the oil and put new oil in 6,000 kilometers. They didn't check the brakes, they didn't do none of that. So when I get back to Pattaya, I'm gonna take it to the dealer that I bought it from and see if there's something more that was supposed to be done. I kind of would feel better knowing that they actually checked the bike over versus just changing the oil. We're gonna head on over here to Riker Bikey Park. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. That's what it looks like though. It's a historic tourist attraction where they show the most famous seven kings of Thailand. I've been there once before we did a bike ride back in July, and the bike ride started from that park. So we'll head on over there and see if we can get some more footage for y'all. I'm gonna ask her, how do you pronounce this place? Puttayan Rajapak. Rajapak. Yeah. Statues are absolutely massive. Everything is in Thai, so I don't know what they're made out of. I'm assuming bronze. I think it would be pretty neat to know exactly how they made them. I don't know anything about it. Did, did, can you weld bronze? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how you make something that big out of metal. I know this little joker over here walking around in the black pants and the pink top is sexy as hell. I know that. So you said the king that's on the far right is the current king's grandfather. What's his name again? Chula Longhorn. Chula Longhorn. 
Let's ride. We've just learned to accept that things are a little bit different here. I stopped earlier today to try to get my bike washed. They told me I had to wait an hour. Me and Aaron are going to this elephant village and we just passed another car wash, pulled up. Oh no, we got two cars we need to wash. It's gonna be two hours. I'm like, okay. Well, as we go to get back on our bikes, they go and they sit down. <laughs> if you've got cars to wash, why aren't you washing them? And why are you turning down quick business? It's not gonna take you long at all to wash these bikes. I don't understand it. I've gotten to a point where I don't try to understand it. It's just, they say what they say, okay, and just move on. My battery's getting ready to die. Got to change my battery. It's a bird tree, or a weeping willow tree, or an oak tree, or a bat tree. Honestly, this spot here is really nothing special. I mean, you can get on an elephant and ride, and they'll take the elephant down in the water right here. You can feed them. There's a cafe here. They actually have something like this that's close to Pattaya. We kind of want to see them out in the wild. I know if you go to Khao Yai National Park, there's a very high chance of being able to see them out there. And there's another spot about an hour and 10 minutes south of Hua Hin where you can see them. We just don't feel like driving down that far. <laughs> Let's ride. I fall on that, you got a problem. If I can get my fat ass out of bed in the morning, I'll come back up here and check out this viewpoint for sunrise. Aaron says that after a few drinks, he slept like a baby and he didn't wake up until he woke up as opposed to when. You didn't wake up until you fell asleep. <laughs> he didn't wake up until he laid down. I didn't wake up until I went to bed. <laughs> well, I didn't like have broken up sleep. Right, I knew what you meant. I'm just fucking with you. I mean, it made perfect sense to me. We found ourselves some more of these watermelon popsicles that taste like watermelon Jolly Ranchers at this lady shop. What we need to find is some more of that Sugar cane slushy. <laughs> Let's ride. All right, friends. We left that viewpoint, came back into the city center, and we were going to check out a palace that was built by King Rama VII. But when we got there, the guards told us we cannot enter. I don't know why. Whatever. We're both kind of hungry, so we came over here to this Chinese spot. Aaron ate here yesterday and he said the food is great. I told him I'd like to try it, but I didn't want to go here if he didn't want to eat two days in a row. But apparently it's good because he was like, yeah, let's go back. Looks like they've got a pretty big menu. Let's check them out. Sabadi <laughs> Mai. Oh, you change. Why you change? Sabadi Mai. Mm hmm. Good. Mm hmm. Last night we went out to a bar, a couple bars actually, but shot some pool. And then before we went back to the hotel, we stopped at 7-Eleven and I got a couple of the ham and cheese sandwiches. Well, they only had one with the yellow package and then the other one was it's like a white and pinkish package. And I'm standing there looking at both of them and I'm telling Aaron, I'm like, I don't understand why they have ham and cheese sandwiches and they're in two different packages. And he's like, uh, because one is croissant bread and one is regular bread. <laughs> and I'm looking at the package and I'm like, oh, yeah. I told y'all, I do goofy stuff sometimes. I thought that was what you ordered. I did. Oh, well, I don't want to take your shit, man. No, I'm saying try it. I don't want to take your stuff as I dump it in my bowl. Try it. It's good. He's got sweet and sour pork. I've got sweet and sour chicken coming. Of course, I've got my pad galam or fried cabbage. He's got shrimp wonton soup, some stir fried broccoli, a couple orders of rice. Pepsi. Y'all know what time it is, man. Y'all got two fat boys over here. Y'all know what we gonna do. We gonna cause a problem in here. If you're a person that loves to eat, <laughs> like I am, you find good spots for some good food, man. Mm -hmm. It's like, it almost comes instinctively. Like, yep, that place looks good. Let's go there. Yeah. Oh, this was a find when I found this place. I, when I ate, I was just like, oh yeah. And today it didn't disappoint again. Like the broccoli's killer, the soup is bomb. We don't pray for love, we just pray for cars. <laughs> I don't want to know that much, I just want to call. All right, y'all. I'm back here at the House of Croissants for some coffee. Yeah. They got a Danish custard croissant over here that looks really good. There's a part of me that doesn't want to eat that, but then there's another part of me that says maybe I should just go ahead and do it. Because I'm a fat boy. It was one of those little dudes in Grand Center Point in Pattaya. That thing's beeping at me. Going over here, let's see what's going on. Today's our last day in Hua Hin. We're gonna head back to Bangkok. We're supposed to leave around nine, but apparently big homie's still asleep. So, got me a cup of coffee, ham and cheese croissant, read my book for a little while, let my camera batteries charge up, and 
wait to get a text from him saying that he's ready to go and we'll roll out. On our way to Huahin a couple days ago, we passed a tourist attraction, but it was closed. So on our way to Bangkok, we'll stop and check that out. We might stop other places as well, I don't know. Our plan was to follow the road that's closest to the coast which means it'll probably take a little bit longer to get to Bangkok. Now, whether we actually stick to that plan or not, I don't really know. We'll see. This temple here is pretty elaborate. It's got the inlaid wood on the ceiling. It's got the paintings that are kind of a sculpture and a painting combined. The polished stone Buddha, almost like cherubs on each side. All right, y'all, we own this cable car. Gonna head up to the top of this mountain. I do not know how to pronounce the name of this temple, so I'm not gonna try. Paknakankiri. Paknakankiri. It's a Maggie. Top on top. Guess we'll go on down here and check out this museum. We were parking our motorbikes. Taxi man pulled up. He said that this used to be a palace up here. Your carriage awaits, fine sir. So that building there had the king's bedroom as well as some other living quarters, a bunch of artifacts. But once you get inside, they don't allow photography or video. So hopefully you guys will make it out here one day and get to see it for yourself. Very breezy up here. There's no need for aircon if you're inside the building here or inside the palace over there. Just a constant swift breeze. Feels good. Great 360 views of the city. If I'm not mistaken, this is Pechaburi. Sorry, your day got ruined. You couldn't go up that last set of stairs right there. Oh, I know. I'm heartbroken. I mean, I really wanted to go there, but I mean, if the stairs weren't closed, I would be. I'd be up there already. We've been climbing stairs all day, man. I'll tell y'all, man, I can't with this dude right here. I can't, I can't leave the camera on 24 seven for y'all. This dude be tripping. We got up here to this, to this lookout up here. And he's like, yeah, the king probably stood up here. It was just like, go out there in the village and find me all the fresh 18 year old pussy. And bring it back up here. Oh my God. What kind of tree is that? You see that growing around and on top of a boulder. Let's ride. All right, friends, back in Bangkok. Since this is our last night of the trip, we figured, you know what, let's just go ahead and go out with a bang. We booked a room here at the Dawin, which is on Sukhumvit Soy 4. We paid 60 bucks for the night. Most of the rooms we've stayed at have been around 30 bucks a night. We found a hotel called Ahsoka Residence, and it was 30 a night. But when we got over there, we both realized that it was an absolute nightmare with all the twists and turns and pulling U-turns, and it was crazy. With the traffic we were like we do not want to stay here so we just felt like it would be better to cough up the extra money even though it's double to stay here so that we're right here on nano four where all the action is i'm gonna jump in the shower get cleaned up and go have some fun well friends i'm back here at breakfast story i got myself a bottomless cup of joe for 90 baht and I also got the breakfast story breakfast, which is three fluffy pancakes, two eggs, super crispy bacon, and some potatoes. Last time I was here was absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna put about 17 and a half packs of sugar in this coffee. Oh, man, man, y'all know I gotta doctor it up. Fresh milk, let's put some of that in there. The whole lot of that. I told y'all, I like my coffee like I like my women sweet and light put it back gently ain't that what she said I don't know it depends sometimes they like it gently sometimes they like you to fuck the shit out of them <laughs> oh oh that's good they're very quick on the service here I'll probably get this plate in just a minute. 
when I was over there getting my coffee, I started to tell y'all, by the time I get back to my table, my plate of food is gonna be here. It wasn't here, but pretty much as soon as I got back to the table, she was coming around the corner. In all honesty, it's a little pricey at 300 baht, but it's good. And you're right here in the heart of Bangkok, so you kind of expect things to be a little bit more expensive. Remember at the beginning of the motorbike trip series, I told y'all, whenever I break a big bill and they give me 20 baht notes and change, I don't spend my 20 baht notes, I just save them. It's kind of my weird way of saving for spur of the moment, impulsive, frivolous spending. If I get in a mood like that, I reach in my 20 baht box. And it actually helps me keep my entertainment costs low for the month. Hopefully y'all can understand the premise behind saving the 20 baht notes. That's from 10 days. I counted it this morning, that's about 2,300 baht. Now, it's only like $65. And that will go in my little box when I get back to the house. How much money did I spend during this 10 day motorbike trip? After I calculated everything, food, accommodations, entertainment, souvenirs, everything, gas, it came out to be right at 30,000 baht. So about $850 for 10 days. 350 of that was on accommodations. So. You could stay in places that cost less than where we stay. You can share a room with your friend if you wanted to. Me and Aaron just chose to get separate rooms. Um, but if, if we would have gotten a room with two beds, we could have cut our costs in half. Aaron is already headed back to Pattaya. We were supposed to go to Ayutai this morning and I told him, I'm really not in the mood to do that. If I go up there, I'm gonna be grumpy. So maybe we should just finish the trip a day early and we'll do Ayutthaya another time. I'm gonna finish eating my breakfast, read my book for a little bit, drink my coffee, y'all know how I do. Then I'll get back on the road and head back to Pattaya myself.